Okay, I am excited. Let me share with you a couple things, and then we're going to have a, a speaker today who's going to give you something that's really empowering. How many of you would like to have a better use and management of your time? I see, see a bunch of short arms here. Okay, can you put your arms up if you really would like to have? Okay, uh, you know, I, I have a friend who uh, he told me, he said, Mel, do you use Outlook? I said, not really. But I actually really do. I didn't really I don't use all the functionality of Outlook. I have a shared calendar with my staff, so they know where I'm at, right? And we can put appointments on there, and I put appointments, and they get to know, you know what my schedule is. But as far as using it as a contact management system, using it as a way to remind me of things, using it as a way to just send myself alerts, using it as a way to keep uh, notes on conversations that I have, with the clients and the prospects. I don't do that, I haven't done that. Uh, and I used to do it years ago, I had a program that was called Top for Music, which is rather expensive, but a really awesome program. And what I've heard about this thing, Outlook, is that the cost is really affordable. That's what I heard. It, it's like <laughs> free, right? It's free. 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 That's what I heard. <laughs> Isn't that a great price? With the purchase of a computer. Yeah, it's a great price. And I bet you can put it on your smartphone too. I bet. How do you think? Put it on your smartphone? So it's a powerful, powerful tool. Uh, and I'm going to have uh, my friend Craig Kohler, who is a master at Outlook. He's going to give some updates on how you can use Outlook as a uh, management program of your time. Before I do that, let me share a couple things that's happening with us as a company. We've ordered more furniture, hopefully we've paid for it. We're just waiting for it to be <laughs> delivered, man. It's just amazing, you know, we, we, we have enough chairs to support this workstation. We have a comfortable oh, chair. You like those? Oh, nice. Yeah, they're they're nice. They are very nice. Oh, they're good. very comfortable. Oh, I'm glad, man. Yeah. Glad, glad. Come and use them. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. So we, we got chairs that we've ordered for another workstation like this. It's a little bit shorter in the area where the copy room is at. Right? And then we're ordering some partitions around the workstation where Nancy and Floyd and Jeanette's area is okay. So that's what we're doing. We ordered a reception area that's really nice and sleek, slick looking. Yeah. But you know, we paid them May 26th and they're supposed to be delivered three weeks later. But uh, it's not here yet. They tell us it'll be here Friday, so we'll see. Right? We'll see if it's gonna come. Uh, what we're planning to do is start to decorate our office. You know, all these paintings have been on the walls. We'll use some of them, some of them we won't. Um, and um, what we're going to do is just make our place really, really beautiful. A great, attractive area to be. And I want to share with you, there are a lot of agents in our neighboring markets here who don't know about us. And I want you to tell them. And I'm going to offer you a bounty. I'm going to offer you a bounty. You know what a bounty is? A reward. A reward. Yeah. Okay. So let's say every agent that you bring our way that signs up with us on their first two transactions, I will give you five hundred dollars each agent. Listing or no, when they close. Oh, when they close. And or, or buy. I don't care if it's a buyer or a seller. When they close a the transaction, you'll get five hundred dollars from our company. Each one. Yes. So I was just coming up and this guy was walking and then he walked in and he goes, is there a realtor here? I go, yeah, upstairs. He goes, Sahara? I go, no, Mel Wilson. I said, may I help you? He goes, I work at next door, but it's my break right now when I used to be a realtor and I want to come and join. I said, come upstairs and somebody might be able to, you know, talk to you. Then I realized you guys are in a meeting, but by the time I turned back, he goes, no, I don't have time right now because it's like, yeah, 10, 10 Did you break. give me a card? I came in to get a card to give it, and then he's gone. He's gone because he had only, I guess, he was on his break. He was smoking, okay, and okay. had a coffee in his hand. All so right. Well, opportunity here. Yeah. Opportunity presents itself when you are prepared. You know, so ready to start. When does it start? Start the ready or what? It started today. Do oh. you have somebody right now? Oh no, I just was through. No, no, maybe, maybe, maybe you didn't understand what I said. What are you talking about? I just, I didn't get the whole story. Oh, yeah. Let me start it over. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just got back. I was, I was That's okay. I'll start over. Every, we are on a growth mode. Every agent that you bring to our company that signs up with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> on their first closing, 
the company will give you five hundred dollars. Okay. On their second closing, what will the company give you? Five hundred dollars. It's a bounty. It's a reward that you get. So I'm asking you to uh, to just think about that. Make yourself available for us. We have a lot to be proud of. There's a lot of good stuff that we're doing here. And I heard some friends from Keller Williams. Uh, really, we're talking to some of their agents. And I heard that we lost one of our agents to Keller Williams last week. And I heard that they made an announcement that it was our number two agent. Well, yeah, that's cool. yeah. You know, it's our dear friend Silva. She went to Keller Williams last week. And a friend of mine who's at the Keller Williams office said they, they announced her as Mel Wilson and Associates number two agent. I didn't know she was. Was she the number two agent? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Are you the number two agent? <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I think they, I think they just kind of missed it. Maybe she was exactly. the number two agent that you hired after you established oh, Wilson and Associates. I don't want to say anything about it. Agent. Oh, the agent. The second like agent you hired. I don't know anything about it. But you know what's interesting is that you know, they are good people, a lot of good people from Keller Williams. A lot of these guys. How many of you worked for Keller Williams before? Anybody here? Okay, you have worked for Keller Williams before. I didn't realize that they charge a monthly fee. Is that... Yeah, it's total. They like charge. Most yeah, they most charge things. like a yeah. hundred and some dollars a month. No, every no. office is different. Oh, I also heard that your uh, e, e and O. Yeah, you have to force up front. You have to put the E and O up front. You have to pay it up front in advance. The whole year. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. We know. That's what I heard from. Well, I maybe just, they change it, but I just haven't. Which office were you at? Uh, Northridge with Dave Carter. Okay. All right. Right, they have a different owner now. Yeah. <laughs> well, right, so, I, well, I was, was there when they moved to uh, make Steve uh, White. Yeah. Yeah. Did okay. she go to North yes. or North North North. Your old office. Yeah. Okay. So anyhow, I just sharing all this with you. The buzz is this. We just we just signed our lease with our uh, landlord for another three years. So in case somebody asks you, are we leaving? Uh, tell them we just buy, we're buying new furniture, right? We're investing in the company. We got a new sign. I got it's going to be out there in about a month. Uh, I've already started negotiating with the sign owners. I got several bids, and we're going to have a new sign out there saying Mel Wilson and Associates up front. Okay, so we're doing these things. This is where we're going as a company. We're growing. Uh, I was in discussion yesterday with a uh, company owner about merging their operation with us, they're out in the Culver City area, so we're growing. That's where we're, we're, we're on a growth mode, okay? So in this case, somebody asked you that question, let them know that's where we're at. And if you know of a small company that maybe it's not doing so great, let me know. Can you imagine if you told me about a small company that merged with us and they had eight agents and the first two transactions, you got $500 for each of those agents. Imagine that we might pay for a vacation, huh? Eight thousand dollars. Yeah. Eight thousand. No. Yeah. Four thousand. Yep. Eight agents. Eight agents. Two deals. Eight. 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 Eight agents. Sixteen deals. Eight thousand five hundred. Eight grand. Yeah. Eight thousand dollars. Not bad. Okay. So I'm just giving you some announcements on what we're going, where we're going. It's exciting. I am so excited. I hope you are too. And I want to help each of you individually. I've met with Cynthia. I've met with Deborah. And I want to meet with you individually. I've met with uh, James because there's some things we can do that really turn our business around. Now I'm going to close with this. How many days do we have left in this year? Everybody know? First to serve gets five bucks. 157. <sighs> 161. Okay. <laughs> 27 less than I really need. <laughs> it's only five bucks. It's not a lot of money. But uh, anybody take a quick guess? The first one that gives it to me gets this five dollar bill. You guys are afraid to go for a five dollar bill? Services are really slow here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one fifty nine. Ah, uh, one away. All right. Okay. Too late. 
Let me know later. Well, <laughs> you want me to tell you? 162. Yeah, it's 162. 162 uh, days left. Uh, All right, so it was uh, too late. Craig, you are up. And what area do you want to be at? You want to use it? You got your computer ready? You're all plugged in? Yes. Great. Okay. And while he's doing that, I'm going to pass a letter of reference I got from a client of mine. I just closed uh, two transactions with him, in the, actually three transactions with him in the last three months. And I asked him to, you know, put a letter together and sign it for me so I can use it on our website. So pass it around. And Craig, you're on. All right. Um, well, I, I just want to make a comment. I, I thought you were getting it together. I'm sorry. I just want to make a comment and say that um, for me, I feel really blessed being here. I'm very excited to be here. Um, I'm always raving about the company. Thank you. And for me, I've never, I feel like I've gotten so much attention, which I love. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> anyway. Um, from just you know, the open house with Deborah, the, you know, the um, door knocking that we did as a group together, I would have never, ever, ever took a chance and went door knocking by myself, you know, just go out there to a random, well, it's not a random neighborhood, there's a listing in the neighborhood, but I would never went out there. Uh, Craig, the information that he gives me, you guys are always open and willing to help me, and I just feel like this is the best place that anybody could ever be. I mean, Mel is fantastic. You know, he calls and checks on you, and you know, that makes me feel special. <laughs> and so, I just think that this is a great company, and especially, you know, I mean, I've had my license for a while, but you know, I feel like a great agent, and it's really been. Um, uh, You're reborn. Exactly. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you actually to everybody for all your help and Mel especially. I keep bringing up for the Richard. Thank you so much. I have some you. sandwiches here, thank some you. bribes for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Some some bribes. Bribes. <laughs> all right, I appreciate that. That was very nice, um, Craig. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So what I wanted to talk about today was just database management. Um, I'll start out with a story. I'm a storyteller. People that like that uh, listen to me sometimes. When I first got in the business, the guy I was working for was very, very successful. And I don't ever claim to be the smartest guy in the room, but I definitely have no problem uh, seeking out guidance, mentorship, advice. And when I went to this guy, he, he said point blank, Craig, I'm not helping you at all until you create a database with 50 names. You think, how long do you guys think it took me to do that? A day. No. <laughs> Probably Six three months. months. Three months. I was doing what most people do. I was a part-time lender, uh, full-time at the gym, and running around with my friends, and that was my life. So I didn't see the need, um, but he, he stayed on me about it. Craig had done your database. Craig had done it every time I came to a meeting which was once a week, created down your database. So finally, I said, okay, I'll do it. And I really didn't understand because I hadn't, I hadn't completed a lot of transactions at the time. So the whole database thing was actually a little bit of a turnoff and almost embarrassing. I said, what am I gonna put down there? Craig, why don't you go over here so you can be in front of the camera? Oh, there's a camera? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't mean to frighten you. Did you it? And then if I walk back, okay, I'll walk back. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll uh, okay. move here. Computer. No, if you no, can, no. that would be great. So what I finally did, I finally listened, and I put together the database. And then he gave me a sheet of paper, which I was looking for this morning, I couldn't find it. It was called the Sphere of Influence. Have you guys ever seen any of that? Yes. Have you ever done it? Yeah. Besides just looking at the paper, have you actually filled it out? Yes. Anybody? How many names did you get? <laughs> okay, what did you do with those names? And I don't, you don't, if you don't mind me asking you specifically. Oh, no. I, what I, do, I just send them mailers. Name. But do you add, okay, so you send a one-time mailer? Once, like twice a year. Okay, and they are in the database then? Yes. Is it, where is it at, Excel? Um, it, it's Excel, yeah. Okay, so most of us use Excel because that's the program we know, right? And like I said, you, we're all here to learn. 
I'm here and I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't do it for a long time. I'm gonna get to the benefits. Most agents that I know, if I ask you where your database is, you're gonna tell me Excel. Am I right? Uh, no. It's email. Mine is in my email. It's in your email? Yeah, actually what I've done, it's, it's everywhere. Like it's in Excel. <laughs> I have a special uh, program that my friend did it for me. It's in Excel. Right. And then it's in the Gmail and it's, Okay, the so, same, and, the same, yeah. So the yeah. Bet, and, and like Mel said, Outlook, the greatest thing ever because it's free. Yeah. And it syncs with every program. I don't know top producer inside and out. I know it's you have to pay top. for it. No. no, 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 but Outlook syncs. It syncs with all of our smartphones. It syncs with everything. Mm -hmm. And it's free. And it's on your computer. Um, the way to link it up, you can have your emails forwarded. There's a way to link, but it'll, it'll be on the one computer. You have to talk to an IT guy to get a little background. The way I do it, just to let you guys know, I host it through GoDaddy for, I think, $20 a year. And I have it on every computer that I own. So it's on my work computer, and it's on my laptop, my own personal, COVID loans. What that means is wherever I go, I tap in. I have a database probably now of over 1,000 people. And the way I've utilized it through the years I was gonna do. This is what I do. I use my yellow pad. This is my tool. So I have a yellow pad at my desk. Anyone that comes in and sits down, I constantly update it. I cross things out as I'm talking to people. I write it down. Once I take, once I'm done with a client or whatever or a lead, then I put it into Outlook. And if you guys want to check me on this right now, I don't even mind you. We can check and you can say, Craig, you don't mind checking a lead, someone that we never never move forward. Most likely, they're in my outlook. And then if you come back to me and you say, Craig, whatever happened with them, I can tell you, well, look, this is what happened. Uh, the power in outlook, does anyone use outlook here? Yes, someone. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm using, I'm using it religiously, but yes, I use so it. So you use it. Yeah. Do you use the, the alerts, the flags? Yeah. OK. Do James, you use yeah. all that. All so, so for James, he might even know more than me. No, thank you for calling me an expert. I don't think I'm an expert at all because I kind of only use the basics. But Outlook is a powerful tool, very powerful. I just use the basics. I use it for um, to sort my emails. And I'll show you what I do here. And I actually have two Outlooks now because now my, my new company, Wintrust, has their own email system. And this is the calendar in there. And I can show you, um, let's see here. So like today at Wilson meeting, I actually sent Mel. So the cool thing about Outlook, one of the really cool things, is you can send out an invite. It's, it's, it's powerful, okay? So let's say that you want to set up an appointment with me. Craig, can you set up an appointment with this client? I just started using this. I just started using this. I, I send an email to you, and I send an email to the client, it's an invite. Once they all agree, it's in our, now it's in our calendar. There's no, hey, I thought it was a 10, I thought it was an 11. It's an, it's an, it's an actual email that goes out and it's, it's an invite. You can put an alert on your phone. So let's say that your appointment's set up at five o'clock. You can do this alert here, reminder. You see this button where it says reminder? You can do it anywhere from a day, a week in advance. You can alert to your email and to your phone now. If it's synced to your phone. So like for me today, I had the meeting at 10. My phone went off at nine o'clock meeting at, nine, at 10 o'clock. I set the alert for an hour before. I seriously, I, I cannot minimize how important, I've always said the most important thing I ever did was learn how to use Outlook. One of, for me, the reason it was important is because early on I learned that in this business, follow-up is where most of us fall through. So what I started doing is I started put, using it for things in the future and like if I if I know there's someone I'm supposed to call and the problem is I have two different calendars right now so if there's if I know that there's someone that I have to call I'll put it in their calendar that I have to call them a week from now a month from now if it's someone that I'm working on their credit if it's someone that's going out of the country if it's someone that um, they can't buy until next year's tax returns I'll put it in my calendar to, to call them and and I'm going to ask you, if you're not using Outlook, how are you keeping track of those? It's very difficult. Is it not? Can you, can you do it in Gmail? Okay. The one thing I'm going to tell you, another, another thing that 
someone said to me a couple years ago that I thought was interesting. They said, I can tell how old you are by your email account. Yes. I told that a couple of days ago to someone. And I said, what do you mean? Because my personal, my personal email is AOL. 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 I'm an AOL. Oh, man. I told her, change your email. They knew your, your, how old you are. Because of AOL. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right? No one signs up anymore for AOL accounts. So I'm dating myself by using AOL. I, that's my personal email. So it does, it's not for business anyway. One of the powerful things about Outlook to start using Outlook is you don't have to use one of those servers anymore. You don't have to use Gmail. You're not going to ever have to use all that. Any of those. You set up your own database. It's super cheap. I don't know how many of us here have it. Well, do you, who, has it who has their email going through a non big provider. Anybody? I have what? a domain name. A domain name. Yeah. So you have a domain yeah, name. I do. Well, once you get the domain name, you create. And what's your domain name? Nairi Bostanian at Nairi Bostanian at Nairi Bostanian dot com. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. So, so how do you send your emails out then? How do you do you send them from that domain? Yeah, and then it's all linked to my Gmail and my Yahoo. So, so, so you're halfway there. Yeah. So you're halfway there. The dom tie in the domain name. Yeah. Once the, once you get domain the domain name, name, it's very easy now Actually, to utilize. It's nairi at nairibostanian.com. It's perfect. So yeah. once you've already done half the work, now you just create the Outlook account, yeah. and it's automatically going to it'll automatically go there instead of using Gmail. I'm not knocking anyone that uses Gmail, but it does show that you're not just a, you have your own domain. It's another step in showing the professionalism mm -hmm. that we all have. It looks better to create a, a, a domain, or whatever it is. I know guys that use, you know, home style, something Yeah, else. well, what it is, this, I could use it, like, let's say if I sent an email to someone. Right. Like, if I want to send it to you, I could write Craig at nairibostanian.com. So, what it is, if someone like Best Buy or Costco, if anything comes to you. Yeah, if if they if they they sell my like they sell your emails, mm -hmm. you would know who sold it because if you had given them that and you get junk mail. That's another good that thing game, about this. So that's another that's good thing about having a domain name. If someone screws up and yeah. mis misspells one letter of your name, you still get the email. Yeah. Instead of when you're at Gmail, you'll never get that email. Yeah. Actually, there are little ways to do that too. You can actually even put little um, a character in between. Like you can have like a Gmail account. Let's say for example, it's Keith Tan at gmail.com. You could put a character separating your your actual email account. And um, let's just say for example, shopping. I say Keith Tan shopping. It'll still go to my Keith Tan account by giving out that shopping account. I don't get it, but I believe you. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, but with this, with this domain name, like if I have a listing, you know, if I want to get the the offers in, I go email it to the address, whatever the address is, at nairobostanian.com. I could do it. Yeah. So, so the other thing, the other thing that I don't know about Gmail, and I know Gmail is probably more um, forward than AOL was. I don't know about the contacts or the database management. So I'm going to show you my old. This is my, my personal one, and these are my contacts. Okay, so in here, and I have these sorted. On the laptop, it's not sorted the same way it is on my desktop, but I have them sorted in seven different um, sub subfolders. And the way I list them is basically whether or not it's a past client or current lead, um, what they are to me. And in there, I click. And it, like I click a follow up, and it automatically goes to my clock calendar. That's another thing. Besides the appointment, sending out an invitation, it, you automatically do flags, and and there it, it goes again. So there's a flag I can do. If there's anyone in here, I'm trying to think of, that you wouldn't mind me pulling someone up that we kind of worked with. Oh, uh, for you not said. I don't have too much on her, right? But she should be still in there. She's but there. J U. And ASA, there she is. So Agent William Kuzman, I got her emails. I don't have too much on her because we really never. How about we're going to start Kilo. again? <laughs> are we? Are we? We're, yeah. Let's see Rebecca Bonquillo. So the other thing that I do that I haven't done on Mel's client, which is Rebecca, is once it closes, once it closes, then I have her contact info, 
right now, Rebecca's I haven't put in, but like here you see, I, I put, I mean, this is personal. See, Mel, happy new year, brother. This is Mel writing to me about the client, her information, and all that. Now what I'll do, I have a stack of files that have closed this year that I haven't put into this yet. Then I'll put them in, I'll have the closing date, have all the information, her rate, when I should call her back, potentially to refi, if it's a, you know, what kind of loan she did, I put all that in there. That I haven't done yet on Rebecca. A good one to look up sometimes is a client that have, hasn't moved anywhere. Um, do we have any mail that I can pull up? That have not moved in how long? That hasn't actually, like, we didn't actually close. <laughs> oh, did not close. How about Alvidris? Um, Marina and Ruben. Oh, and you know what's funny on these guys? I just took out the flag on them. I had a flag going to my system to recontact them about the down payment because they were going to save up money for closing costs. So agent referred to Mel Wilson, pre-approved to 430K. I just updated this actually, but I haven't. I have to. You have to close it for it to update on all your other computers, and I haven't closed it on the other computer. So working with Deborah Key. That's currently pre-approved to 430K. Um, no, you don't mind me sharing with some of your past clients? No. All right, so let's pull up. Uh, how about Restrepo? That was that was a refinance client that Mel referred to me. It took a long time to close. Referred by Mel Wilson, 4 1 2013. Wasn't because of you that it took a long time. No. No. <laughs> but this was her, and, and I, I keep track. Owns home and wants to get an ex husband off the loan. 515 was the value, left voicemail on the email. That's my email to her. But no, her, she emailed me back. I hope all is well with you. Considering again to buy off my ex. Can you give me an estimated payment? 317, I wrote to her sending out cards. And we just closed the loan recently and I haven't put in the final information. The reason I'm saying this is because if you if you fill up your, your database and you put in the 50 names, and the other thing people say is, what do I do with the 50 names? What do you do with them? What's our other tool besides our notepad? What are the tools of our trade? Are there, what's the number one tool of our trade? Telephone. 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 So every time, is this wood? I don't know what this one this is. Every time I get slow, I go back to basics and I get on the phones. Maribel over there has been with me 10 years. When I get slow, what do you guys think I do? I panic a little. Maribel, we're slow. What do you think's going on? What's that? This, that? She said, Craig, go get on the phones. <laughs> what happens when we get on the phones? Do good things happen? They always do. They always do. Whether it's a past client that we don't want to call, the person we thought we were nagging. Um, Floyd, how you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, Floyd. William, how you doing? Good, Craig. What's happened with any of those leads? Flora, she's getting back in the market. You've kept in contact with her then, right? Now, one of the ways that we don't that that if you don't have a good calendar system. I don't know how, what you do if you use it. What made you call her? Her lease is up in September. And you knew that already? We went out and looked at properties in March to get an idea. And I said, until we get close, these things are flying too fast. But how did you keep track of that? That's what I'm asking. You don't mind? Um, you know, Floor being a previous client, you know, for years, the loyalties there, so it's she just, called you. Um, the last time I think I texted her because uh, uh, because I know it's time for us to get out and look and get into escrow now. I, my my belief system. So I texted her. I says, "There's some new listings up. When do you have time to go look?" The, the the goal in our job is to get as consistent as we can, and the only way to do it is to is to breed some type of system where there is follow up. And that's what I like about this. This is not the only program. Mark Mark Gilmore uses top producer. He believes in that. Cost money. Cost right. money. I also have Floor signed up on Matrix to receive the automatic emails of all the listings. That another the criteria, another good thing, to which do. is something I do with all of my buyers. But and then you can track it. You keep it in here. So, you know, I, I I wish I could tell you. I mean, there's more things. I don't know if I should. You guys want to see what Outlook does because I don't know. Yeah, show us whatever you can. My We're thought here is the main thing is signing up. That you have to sign up, and once you start playing with it, is this different than the Outlook that's in Microsoft Office? This is no. This is that. Okay. This is this is uh, your screen looks different than mine. That's why I'm just. 
Okay, so here goes month. Okay, so I'm going to go back so you guys get an idea what I, how I used to utilize this. This is what I used to do. This Because this is my old one. We just switched over with the new company. Um, I mean, I have what? On Tuesdays and Wednesdays there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different leads that I'm tracking. And it's one's for new tax returns. One would be an appointment. And this is the best. I track them in here. Here goes another week. Three different, I mean, another month, three different leads that I was tracking in there. This is besides just knowing you have an appointment set up. Because I didn't use it for that until recently. This was just me keeping track of who I needed to call in the future. There's another way to do that that I use too, which is the flag system. So you pull up a contact. Let's pull up. Um, I'd like to pull up someone that we're kind of, William, can I pull up can I pull up one of the clients that we met with? Can I pull up one of the clients that's in a buyer? Because I'm thinking of what was the name of Sorio? Sor Sorio? I can pull up one of those. Let's pull up one of those. Yeah. Okay, so this is a client I met with with Lillian. Referred by Lillian B. Purchased home two, three years ago. Wants to buy another property. Property was not. I'm, this is getting deep. So this reminds me now. He did not claim the property as an investment property. That's a problem for me. So if he calls me back in a year or two. Craig, I want to get pre-approved. That happens all the time with the realtor. I'll go I, right away. I go, oh, this is the guy that claimed the property as an event. He didn't claim it as investment. Right away, I know when he calls me. As soon as someone calls me, I'm pulling this up. He was supposed to come in for appointment 6-10-2014, canceled. I called and left him a voicemail. So if Lillian calls me and says, Craig, whatever happened with Adner? Adner? Am I saying that right? Adner. I, I tell her, Lillian, I left him a voicemail. That's the last I've heard. Have you heard anything? It keeps me in the game. So if I want to add a flag, this is my follow-up flag. Let's say that I want to customize it, and I want to follow up with him in a month. I'm going to put a flag in now, August 26th. Then I'm going to call, call, and check, check in. So what happens now on that date, my, my system automatically gives me a reminder on that date call and check in. So what happens that day, I log into Outlook in the morning, I get a flag, call him and check in. And you can chime if you if you use this all the time, I don't mind you giving any jump in. I'll pull mine up you. I mean anything anything that I'm not that you can add. Because I, I really I honestly know I really don't feel like an expert. There's guys that utilize you every want to pull tool. yours up, James? Sure. Well the first no, thing we have to sign in You have to sign in and that's the key. It doesn't book. matter which name because that's once you sign in, that's the email you're going to use, or that's not the email? Well, me, I personally think you guys should all have a domain. I have a domain. Okay, so when you send out emails to me, L uh, Lillian Guerrero at... I, I, mine is Yahoo, but I have homes at Lillian That's the one you want to use. So then you tie your Outlook to it, and you get a good, like, GoDaddy host, and it's super cheap now. Right, then, but then I don't have to sign in to Outlook, I just have to put my name. Outlook right now is on your computer. So it, unless it's unless you have a way to tie it, to host it, correct me if I'm wrong, it would, it's only on that actual computer. Yeah, this, this program I'm opening up right now, Microsoft Microsoft Exchange, right. is a program that lets you use your Outlook from anywhere. Oh, and that's what we okay. utilize in my new company. So where, where, now with my, own, with my new company, Wintrust, wherever I go, I log in through Exchange Server, and they're on. I'm hosted anywhere, so it's really powerful. Phone. So this is actually my account for my other my other job, but I can show you a few things. So, okay. so you actually have to download that then, James? Outlook Exchange. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, different, different it's a different program. But it allows this, you this allows account. you to use your Outlook. For Okay. So if you do it that way, do you still do you still have to host if you have a domain? You still have to find someone to host it then. The domain. This is different. This is just to yeah, access the email. Right. Yeah, this is a little different. But I'll show you kind of since we're on the topic of Outlook, this is a so what I use mine a lot for is obviously follow up stuff. Okay. Um, like you said, you can flag all of your emails. Um, flag them, you can set dates on when you want to follow up. You can set priority, so you can flag each email for how important it is to follow up. Um, 
as you can see over here, I use mine for, I deal with a lot of different things at the golf course. So I have subfolders for everything in my inbox. Okay, banquet contracts, uh, cart contracts, clubhouse walkthrough, email blast, employer reports, event calendars, golf now, golf now trade. Those are all folders for emails that I need to keep track of. He has a lot of folders. Okay, those are all folders with subfolders. So I organized it um, like that, so it just takes a lot less of my time if I need to go back and look anything up. Um, I, I use the calendar, I use the tasks, okay? You can schedule all of your tasks. Let's see here. So there's some tasks that I've worked on. Um, these are all timelines for tournaments and stuff like that. That's another. That's another. And Outlook has. Yeah, it's, it's another great tool. And if there's you, something you have to do, you get to list it there. And every day you sign in, it's there. You cannot use this on Mac, can you? No. Uh, I'm not sure. No. To be honest with you, I'm not. Yeah. So if I'm using Mac, this is. I think. <laughs> Mac has another program. Yeah. I don't know exactly what it is with the cloud. I think uh, Microsoft is. I'm showing a purchase price on this Outlook Exchange. Is it a free one? No, this one's not free. Okay. But this allows you to use your Outlook for Well, what, do you remember what the cost was on it? No, this is the company base for it, so I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but I'm just showing you kind of how I use my okay, Outlook. Okay, I'll just, I'll hit the learn more button. You can use the free one, but like he said, it's limited to just your desktop. But what I did to, to get around that is I go, like I said, I host a GoDaddy, $20 a year, I think. That's and cheap. I'm good at it. It's very really cheap. Affordable. And so I you can, you can create tasks by subjects, when it's due, okay, how important it is, details of the task, all that stuff. It's just like kind of like what Mel does. He types all his stuff out and he highlights it as he finishes it. This allows you to type it up and cross it out or hit complete it. It even allows you to update it. Maybe you're 50% done with it. So you, you guys here already have the domain, right? What is the domain? It's Wilson and Associates. That's a domain. I think it's M Wilson Realtors. So, so you, I don't know, I, I, James. Would they have to even get a host or would that domain host for them? They can probably host. Yeah, you can probably, I don't even know if you need to go through GoDaddy because you guys already have your domain. I went to GoDaddy yeah. to get my domain. Yours? No, I'm saying if you use yeah. Mel's, if the one here, Wilson and Associates. I don't even think you need to go through GoDaddy, and you can get it. You can get it hosted through that. I'm and sure. Have to pay. I don't think so. Okay, these are all my. I'll reach out to the who who runs the the the, the uh, domain. Uh, John. I, I would reach out to John and find out. Talk to Veronica about you know. Outlook. How Tell us. Give us an example of how you use it, uh, Jay. Yeah, he he kind of went over the contact thing. You can build, um, obviously, individual contacts. So these are all customers of mine. Um, they're either a member at the golf course or in some type of program that I do marketing to. So you can create contacts and you can also create distribution lists. So you can throw... Never was going to show me how to link with the one in the office, but... Let's see, I'll show you an example here. You gotta come in more often, we miss you. Yeah. I asked her, but nothing happened, I guess. Ah, don't ah, her don't the bus. Bus. you're throwing her under the bus. Yes, so there you go. Busy. I haven't seen you in, in a long time. <laughs> well, when I come, I get an old, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here all we're here all the time. Come on in. Okay. There's an example of a distribution list that I market to all the Super time. Super powerful with the distribution list. Yeah, there's over hundred members on this email distribution list. So Jay creates great, and I'm speaking over him. He creates one email, sends it out to the hundred people instantly with with coming from the, the domain. So the main thing I use it for, the main Topics I use it for is obviously email, um, follow up, like you said. I have a ton of things that I have to follow up on, so I set myself reminders. I set up my distribution list in here, you know, and I use the calendar. So, so I, I'm going to really show something else. Power when you like on Gmail, I'm speaking cause, to Gmail because I know AOL well is over with. <laughs> on Gmail, can you search? Um, <laughs> can you search through emails for like a keyword or no? Yes. Yeah. Well, you can. So it's, it does allow yeah. you to do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. pretty much everything you've gone over, you can do it in Gmail. A lot of it you can do in Gmail. Yeah. Gmail is really good. 
Gmail. That's what I use for my personal. What's the big difference then? Because I don't know anything about Gmail. Besides, is there anything that, that I'm saying? There's that, not too much that you can't do on Gmail that you can do in Outlook. How about you contact You device? can set up tasks. You can do contact distribution lists. Are the contacts? You can leave notes under each contact like you do here. Really? So it's, not, it's similar? Yeah, that's actually what I use for my real estate stuff. Is so would you say that Outlook is overrated if you're using G Gmail? No. You know what? I'm kind of like you are. I haven't explored the million different things you can do with Outlook. Um, being a Microsoft product, I'm sure it has a lot more advantages. What about the invitations for meetings? Can you do that also in Gmail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. You can also, in Gmail, you can share documents. I mean, you can share calendars. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So, so, it's, so Gmail's pretty good. <laughs> you can share that it's, access it's, to it's Google with your Drive. Phone. Yeah. 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 With your phone. I know that right. with, uh, So I, I use Gmail to sync my contacts. So I know Gmail is powerful, but I don't use it as, a, as an actual um, email account, so I don't know that much about it. So if you're using Gmail, it sounds like you're also a little bit up to speed in terms of that. The people that aren't using Gmail, you can't sync. Let's, let's take a quick survey and find out how many of you are using either Gmail or Outlook. Can I see your hands? Are you listen to Gmail or Outlook? I have Yahoo on Gmail. All right, and do you guys use it every day? Is this something that you go to when you wake up every day? We'll this see. is what you're going to do. You're going to go in? You're done? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. 